Wander open roads with us on a campground review of Thousand Trails Gateway to Cape Cod RV and Family Campground. Hey everybody, this is Robin. And Nico. And we're Wander, Wander open, open Roads. roads. Thank you for joining us for a campground review on Gateway to Cape Cod, which is a great location in the uh, Thousand Trails catalog. Yes, I'm so excited to check out this campground. Definitely. So Gateway to Cape Cod is in Massachusetts. It is south of Boston and it is just right near uh, I guess the Gateway to Cape Cod, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's definitely the closest Thousand Trails campground to Cape Cod. Yeah, definitely. And you are close to all kinds of just stuff to do. I mean, places to go all on Cape Cod, uh, Plymouth, New Bedford, uh, you know, the beaches on Cape Cod. I mean, you're really not that far from Boston. I mean, so it's, yeah, it's a, just a great location. Yeah, I mean, you have access to a lot of attractions. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, everybody, so let's talk about Gateway to Cape Cod. So, Thousand Trails Campground, uh, which is great for us because we are Thousand Trails members, and the location is fantastic. You know, like we said earlier, you, you have access to um, the entire Cape Cod area to, you know, to go to Nantucket, to go to Martha's Vineyard, you can go to Boston, you can go to Plymouth, you can make it over to Rhode Island. Everything is relatively close by, so it's a great location to set your set your camper up and then just travel around, okay? So overall, we gave this campground three and a half stars. So some of the things that we, that we did not like were that uh, even though the location is good and it is relatively close to a lot of these things, our criteria is that it's within 20 minutes and there was very little that was in within 20 minutes. It was, most things were 45 minutes to an hour away. So you're definitely going to have to travel to get to the attractions. Um, another thing that we that we didn't like is that uh, the campground could definitely use some 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 updating. Okay, there were some things that were that were in need of update. Also, while we were there, there was a huge rainstorm, and the and the campground actually flooded. So they were in the process of bringing in additional gravel and grading for for the site. So you know, if that's a problem, then you know you can go ahead and do that ahead of time, right? So that was another thing that we that we did not care for, uh, but in terms of the of the campground itself, they had uh, there was a there was access to a lake for uh, kayaking and boating. Uh, they had all types of activities that were going on at the time. A huge pool area. Uh, they had a uh, a a a a, a, rest, a restaurant or food service there that was accessible. They had a really nice game room activities for 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 kids. And another thing that we that we really love about the campground is that it's very heavily wooded, so you kind of get that 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 state park feel, which we we really like. So, all in all, three and a half stars. Would we stay there again? Absolutely. Yeah, great location, nice campground. So, definitely check it out if you're in the area. And um, if you're looking for some help with Thousand Trails, check out our membership representatives, Warren and Sharon Lewis, and their details will be in the description for the video. So thank you once again. We appreciate your time and we hope this helps. Take care. Be sure to check out our selection of motorcycle shirts. Links will be in the description.